G'day, really quick video today. This is not a video I've done much planning for, so I have to excuse that, but something I'm pretty excited about. Uh, this has been a long time coming, finally got it working, so I wanted to give you the heads up on something that you might be interested in. What it relates to is it relates to my Ram 3500, and two, it's got a 2.4 meter length tray, and one of the principal concerns I had about putting a canopy on that tray was in other utes I've had with canopies in the past, where they might have a dual cab, 1.8 metre length tray uh, with a canopy, you're looking through three panes of glass. And when you live out in the country like I do, you live on a lot of dirt, I live on an extended amount of dirt roads before I get back to bitumen, you get dust in between, you can get dust on that rear window glass, it can fog up on wet days, it can make it very, very hard to see out that big back window through three panes of glass from here, here, and then the rear window. And that's bad enough sometimes on a standard dual cab. This is a long box truck, 3500 with a 2.4 meter length tray. On this truck, I've got that extra 600 mil on the tray to have to see through um, before I get to that rear pane of glass. Can, can certainly make it challenging. So what I wanted to do was basically the same thing I did with my 100 series Land Cruiser. My 100 series Land Cruiser has a uh, Xtron's head unit with a seven inch screen. There's a review of that separately on this channel if you're interested. And it came with a dash cam included in the package. And the dash cam uh, can be just thrown to the seven inch screen so you can see the full image on the screen. And what I did with the 100 series is rather than mount it on the front windscreen, I actually mounted it on the back window glass. Ran it through the car and then up and through. So it's just, you can't see, it's all integrated into the car. Little cable just with the thing on the back window is all you can see. And that allows you while you're driving along to see out the back window and you've effectively got a seven inch rear vision mirror in full HD on your dash if you want to. Also has the utility of capturing anything going on behind you in the event of an accident or something if you need that dash cam footage. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't have an integrated option to have a front dash cam as well. That is a downer, because I do like the idea of integrated front and rear dash cams. Downside of that is it doesn't throw to my seven inch screen uh, with a front and rear, so they do talk to each other, but doesn't throw it up on the big screen there. So it doesn't work in that context of being effectively, if you like, an extra rear vision mirror. So um, you could, I suppose, use the, um, the reversing camera. You can flick a switch on that and uh, use the reversing camera, but the reversing camera is mounted so low, I really wanted an alternative to my rear vision mirror, something high mounted that gives me basically a full rear vision mirror style uh, view from the back of my car. So on the 100 series Land Cruiser, to run it from the head unit down to the back window glass, I did need to get an extension. The standard cables were not long enough. So routing them through underneath the floor and then up through the panel and popping out on the rear window glass. I had to buy a three meter extension USB cable. I just picked that up from Big W, I think. Uh, it was just a standard off the shelf, three meter USB extension, worked fine, absolutely no problems at all. The challenge I've had with this is this is a longer vehicle. This is a long box U, 2.4 meter length tray, three meter cable is not gonna cut it. Measured it out and the shortest run I could do was five meters. And I have tried to run a whole bunch of five meter cables to get that signal down to the back. And it's, there's been insufficient data running down that cable for whatever reason um, to carry the signal. So I've tried a whole bunch of cables, got a bunch of them here. So there's one, that's one brand, that didn't work. There's another one there, there's another brand cable, that didn't work. So then I went to uh, USB extender cables with a supposed extender unit, signal extender built into the cable, bought one from JCAR and tried that. No dice, didn't work. Took that, the, I, I told them what I wanted to do it for. It's running for a reversing camera from a head unit to the, to, the, uh, to the camera. Can't get a signal on a standard five meter cable. Yeah, yeah, this will work. Didn't work. Didn't work, same problems with these cables. So I've been trying to find an alternate solution and today I have found one, which is just awesome. So that's what the video is about. This is a Ugreen Deluxe Computer Cable. That's what its brand is, Ugreen Deluxe Computer Cable. This was bought from amazon.com.au and it's just a, it's a five meter USB extension cable, but it's, it's, and it has an extender unit, but it's powered. It has a micro USB uh, adapter on it, 
that you can plug in to give it power. So I've run, I, I connected it up just on the floor and plugged it in to see if it worked. Signal, hallelujah, praise, for, praise God for that. Finally got a, got a signal on my, uh, on my rear vision camera uh, on, the, on the RAM, even though I'm running down. So there'd be probably a meter or so out of the head unit. There's probably a bit over a meter into the camera. So it's running six, seven meters probably. It'd probably be running seven meters at least of cable uh, and I've got a signal. So I'm thrilled about that. Uh, plugged it all in now, I've wired it, secured it, everything, run it up through the paneling and everything, mounted the camera on the back window glass and I can flip my, um, my dash over to the dash cam on my head unit and I get a beautiful view out my rear glass uh, on the ramp. So if you fit the camera and you're finding it difficult to look out your back window, this is a maybe a good solution for you. Get a dash cam, throw it up on your screen. If you can do that through your uh, factory head unit, happy days. If you can't, an aftermarket might be might be the go for you. But it really does uh, change around your view of the road. I think it's a nice little safety feature. Don't get distracted by the image. Think of it as a rear vision mirror, not, not something to stare at. Obviously, keep your eye on the road. But um, very, very, very handy. Uh, and it also has obviously the functionality of being a dash cam, recording a signal as you go. So as for the front dash cam, um, what I'm running is I'm running a, uh, a full HD dash cam separate unit that goes on the, on the, um, on the front window. This is a unit from uh, Adventure Kings, the 4x4 Super Center. Uh, they had a deal, uh, basically a two for one deal, couldn't get near it for the price. So that's what I've put on the front window. If there's interest and if, the, um, if it's warranted, then I'll do a, a separate review of this after a while. As I said, it doesn't talk to the head unit, doesn't talk to the rear dash cam, but easy enough when it's mounted on the front window glass to go, if you need to record it or you need to adjust some settings or something, you can just do it right there and then. That's pretty simple. And as for the back camera, all the controls for that are on the head unit itself. So that's nice and easy to control as well. So if you want to do something similar to this, and if you've got a long run, now, if you've got a dual cab, you may, uh, an Australian dual cab, you might be able to get away with a three meter extension cable. You're probably still gonna need a five, I would suggest, if you can't find a four. It generally seems, to my looking, jumps from three to five. So you're probably gonna need to go to a five. In my experience, this is the one you wanna do. The Ugreen Deluxe Computer Cable from Amazon. It's powered, it has the extender in it. All the other cables that I've tried, three different cables and none of them have worked. I'd almost given up until I came across this one and it did work, so that's awesome. Uh, that's where I would start. It's about $25 for the cable. Uh, the dash cam all came integrated with the head unit. So there's a, that's a little win for today. Really, really pleased about that. Um, I've taken it for a run and it, looks, it seems to work really well. So if that is of interest to you, if you've got a dual cam, if you've got a canopy and like a better view of the of the road behind you, that might be something worth considering. Hope this, vi this uh, video was useful to you. Thanks for watching.